capital H and the capital K are next. And I'm going to make the capital H first. And I'll start off with a comp compound curve, just like this. Finishing here in a comma dot, I will go ahead and now make the right side of this letter first. I traditionally do that, although if you want to do it differently, you can. It's This is like a lowercase l here, okay? Don't get too close to it. Come down, finish around like this. We'll make our stem loop, okay? Come around, curve it in toward the center there, and come around and out that way. Okay. The rear portion now is the thing I do last, and that's sort of an exaggerated V form. You don't want to get too far behind this comma dot to start with, or the thing will be look too extended. And so I'll go ahead and make my V shape here like this. Don't get too heavy in weight. Come up and have it intersect in to the shade, although I try not to touch the shade. All right. That's a capital H. By the way, on this capital H, if you wanted this cross section here higher, you could do it, but then we mean with this style, you have to sort of truncate this loop up tighter. I just don't like the way that looks. And none of these cross marks here actually touch the shades. The final letter in this series is the K. The K has the same exact left side, this portion here, as the H, and I'll execute that now. Again, comma dot. And I love the forward portion of the K, and I typically make these a little bit more dramatic by starting up above this top line here, not too high, just a little bit, and I'll try and get my loop below center of this first ascender space, or I try and keep the loop about here. And so here we go. The V shape. Okay. And then finally, finish off the back end. Again, keep it keeping the start of this just behind the comma dot. Don't get too far out with that, like this. And there you have the H and the K. Thank you very much for your time.